Hey guys, my name is Omar and I just got the Fujifilm X. right there. guys it's a beautiful day here autumn another day on Poe um, I just uh, was editing and I needed to get out it's a beautiful day it, you know it stinks when you're you have all this work to do but it's a beautiful 60 degree day outside and perfect so I decided to jump on the bike and ride down to right now we're in the great swamp not to be confused with the mediocre swamp. This is also my first time on gravel roads with Poe and uh, the V-Strom has a little bit of traction control, which is great because I need it. Uh, I need to be a little bit better on the gravel. I kind of feel it under me like, whoa, like if you're ice skating. So that's kind of new to me, just figuring out what Poe likes at wind. It's a very windy day, but uh, getting back to the X-T2, it's, yeah, I don't want to sell it because I love its sensor. However, the X-T3 is like such a leap forward. First of all, with the EVF wise, I know we talked cameras last time. And by the way, thank you for those of you that understand me. Some people are like upset that I didn't <laughs> like the X-T4. That's what's great. We have choices. You know, the X-T4 maybe is for you, which is awesome. But for me, it's not the camera for me. The X-T2 and X-T3, I like those a lot better. Uh, but anyway, back to the X-T2. The problem with the X-T2 is that the X-T3 was such a nice little leap forward, a better EVF, uh, just a better user experience. And if you're shooting video and photo, which I love to do, it's a lot trickier, no, not a lot trickier, it's a little trickier with the X-T2 because when you switch over to video, your settings are the same from your photo settings. So you kind of have to dial everything in if you want to change your film simulation, all that kind of stuff. But with the X-T3, what's great is you just switch to movie mode and it has your Eterna film simulation, your right shutter speed, all that cool stuff. So that's one thing is I'll always grab the X-T3 if I want a little bit of a more rugged body and I'm doing photo and video, it's the X-T3. Now, if I'm doing photography, like if I'm going to walk around New York and shoot street photos, well, then it's the X-T20 for its size, fit in the, pa in the pocket. You know, the X-T2 now, just like I'll stare at the X-T2 and be like, mm, yeah, it's got the ISO dial and it's a little better grip. It's a nice rugged, you know, if it's drizzling out, it's better to pick the X-T2 for photography, but I might as well take the X-T3, you know, it's that kind of syndrome. So it definitely is the most neglected camera, my Fujifilm camera. 
Anyway, these are like first world problems. Having too many Fujifilm cameras, please. Okay, this is more like it. This is what the X-T2 likes, guys. <laughs> so I was riding through the beautiful back roads of New Jersey. My gosh, I'm always amazed by just so many beautiful places that are close by. We, you know, we want to travel so far, but just close by is... Anyway, then I was riding by and I saw this kind of abandoned building here. And uh, it looks cool for the X-T2. So I'm gonna do a couple of pictures, check it out, and then uh, that's pretty much it. What do you think, guys? Classic chrome? Classic chrome, maybe? <laughs> so uh, this is very reminiscent of uh, that talk we had with Max Bond, abandoned, destroyed. I love that the nature is taking over. You see all these vines. And uh, yeah, just wonder what the building was. Wow, look at this, guys. Someone left the water running. And look at that, there's a fire extinguisher over there. Weird. Yeah, I'm just keeping my helmet on in case some crazy bear comes out of this thing. I can at least fight it a little bit. Check out the back. Now, one thing is I shoot my uh, X-T2. I have it on electronic shutter. That way, if I'm going to uh, photograph at 1.4, the camera can automatically go to really high shutter speeds, like 1 60,000th and stuff like that. So it is pretty bright out here. And I like to shoot at 1.4 sometimes. And uh, yeah, this is the back. Let's check that out. Here we go. Ooh, it's got a nice smell. Okay, so there were no bears in there, thank God. <laughs> but uh, very interesting, very cool. What a difference from when we were at the, uh, the uh, Great Swamp. This was the great, completely abandoned building. Uh, and that's what's great about jumping on your motorcycle and just exploring. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.